What are we even doing here? I've got some herring fillets. They're German. I don't think I've ever had anything German before, like uh, that was a uh, canned fish. They're made by this outfit called Deutsch Kutsch, authentic German food. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Deutsch Kutsch, herring fillets in curry pineapple sauce. Look at like this, they look like little chicken breasts, right? Like little chicken tenderloins. And then are we really gonna get like chunks of pineapple? Is this gonna be curry? Like what kind of curry? Cause I'm like kind of a Japanese guy. So like Japanese curry is sort of a thing in my head. What's the dish Japanese of all ages love to eat? Curry with rice. So I'm like hoping it's like, you know, Japanese style curry with pineapple on fish, right? I have no idea. Um, do we get any more information? Oh, distributed and sold exclusively by Aldi. So this is an Aldi thing. They're the ones that are uh, importing this into the US. And there's all kinds of uh, ingredients here, but we're not gonna worry about them, right? It's, um, can The can is a little big, so it's got some kind of like uh, hills and valleys here. I'm not gonna worry about those either. Okay, so we got a little bit of sauce. I'm trying to... Okay. That's a curry taste. Oh yeah, this guy. Son of a gun. Did I get any on the lens? This is, uh, you know, it's risky business. Risk, Risk is our business. business. That's what Kathleen Kirk says. So we look at this, and I am very pleasantly surprised by the aroma, because it is definitely as advertised. And then also by the volume and opacity of the sauce. This looks like some pretty, this looks like nice saucy sauce, right? And let's just have some are definitely pineapples. This is definitely some kind of like watered down German idea of curry. Sorry guys, but like I think we know we know the score. Um, all right, contrary to the picture on the box, I think even with all the curry stuff kind of getting all in, it's it's more like the herring that we've had. And uh, a similar texture too. But uh, oh, I like um, I like this. Got this skin. You know, this kind of reminds me of that. Um, what is it? Trader Joe's herring, right? I think that stuff actually had a little bit more of an um, inviting texture. But this is still pretty good. And the 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 flavor is like. compelling. It's not spicy, it's sweet. But, you know, son of a gun, it's there. And the 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 consistency of the sauce, like I said, is kind of what you want. Um, this is at least as successful as some of the um, King Oscar flavors, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, there's some like, kind of nice uh, endy pieces, a little bit fattier. Don't forget about you, pineapple. Fascinating. It's like, there's only so much I can do to like, to, okay, so here we get to see the interior of the fish a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. So that picture on the front of the tin, I don't know how they get that picture. That's like the whitest looking little fish I've ever seen. Like, it looks like a little cod fillet or something. You know, maybe not the scale. 
Hmm. Did I just get like a little bone or something? Crunched right up. It wasn't anything like dangerous or uh, give you a pause, but when you put your fish in this kind of murk, you're responsible for people. You can't hide a bunch of weird stuff. You can't have like tough bones or scales and stuff. You gotta make sure people don't walk into anything they don't wanna walk into. Mm. Yeah, this is pretty good. And I'll, I'll tell you what, if you were ever looking for something that would be great over a bowl of rice, this is, I mean, this is right up there with your uh, your Nisui brand, you know, Miso Pacific sardines, you know? Because you're gonna get all this goopy stuff all over the rice. It's gonna be kind of sweet. Have some other flavors. Get your fish too. Hmm. All right. All right. Deutsch Kutch, I'm into it. I've got another tin. I think it's like a mango flavor of this herring too. I don't know whether I'm gonna review it soon. I think I know the score, but if uh, if you guys decide you just can't get enough, let me know, okay? All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks to viewer Bradley R that suggested this review and even helped me out finding him on Amazon. Sir, for this episode, you are promoted to honorary associate producer. We've got so much fun stuff coming up. The next video will be the Can Sardine subreddit group review number two of Yorita Small Sardines with special guest, oh yeah, Ramon Pena. Subscribe to avoid missing it. Bye.